Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and you know what? It doesn't really feel like winter here in Montana, at least. We haven't had much snow, but that doesn't mean we still can't do winter crafts because it's still a little chilly out there, especially when that wind blows. And today, I want to do a craft where you make a snowflake out of yarn. Now, fair warning, you got to have some patience to do this. I made this, and it was a little difficult for me, so I just want to put that out there. So if you have patience and you got some time on your hands, perfect opportunity for you to do this craft. If you don't have patience, hey, try it anyway. You, you, you can always try, right? I'm pretty happy with how mine's turned out. So anyway, that said, here's what we're gonna do. There's a way you can cheat on this, but I like to be artistic and different and make my own snowflake, so I'm gonna draw my snowflake. However, if you go to any store, ask mom and dad, you could probably find paper plates that have snowflakes already drawn on the front of it. So if you want that, go and check that out. So first thing we're gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna draw a snowflake. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a pattern here, and in the magic of, of television, I am gonna move that and I'm gonna bring in what that pattern looks like. So you can see here, I just basically took and made a snowflake. I had different little uh, arms there and made a star pattern. Again, it's not even. You can see that triangle smaller than that triangle, but that's why I love it. It's yours and it's your only unique snowflake, just like every snowflake out there is unique. So that said, now comes the fun part. And again, you might want mom and dad's help with this. I'm gonna bend down for just a minute. What you're gonna wanna do is find a push pin, a thumbtack, something like that. Remember, it's sharp, so be careful. And on that snowflake, you're gonna wanna go to every point and every spot that the lines overlap and you're gonna to wanna to poke a hole. So what do I mean? So right there, there's a point, boop, I'm gonna poke a hole right there. Here's another point right there, boop, poke a hole, poke a hole, poke a hole. Right there, the lines connect, I'm gonna poke a hole there. You're gonna do that around the whole thing, okay? And so at the end, when you turn it over, you're gonna have a bunch of little holes that don't really look like they make much sense, but they will, I promise. Okay, this is where you're gonna need mom and dad's help. You're gonna to have to ask for a sewing needle or sometimes you might be able to use a knitting needle. In fact, I actually made mine out of wire. I'm like that, I couldn't find any sewing needle, so I made a wire needle. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to make a loop and you're gonna to wanna to find some yarn, any color you want. And again, it's your unique snowflake, so make it whatever you want. I like black, so I chose black. So that's when you're gonna take that needle, you're gonna thread it. I already threaded mine because I'm old and it takes me a long time to thread a needle, so I did it for you so you don't have to sit here and watch me struggle. Thread the needle and then at that point, that's when you're gonna take your plate, you're gonna flip it over on the front and you're gonna stick this needle right through that plate just like so. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that through and you're gonna pull yarn and you're gonna wanna make it yourself, give yourself a lot of yarn to use because, well, you're gonna use a lot of yarn to make this pattern. So pull that through and get a long piece ready to go. Then it's just all about threading that needle through those holes that you made. So like I said, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna go to the next hole that I see. It doesn't have to be any particular hole. It could be any one you want and you're gonna point it through there, you're gonna pull that through, and basically make it tight like that. And then you're gonna go to the next hole and beyond and beyond. And at the end of the day, when you're done, look at that! So cool. Now, a couple things to note, you're gonna probably go through a couple holes a couple different times, that's all right. And the favorite, my favorite part, you turn it over, it's ugly, it doesn't look good. But boom, you flip it over, Looks like a little snowflake. You poke a hole on the top, you hang it in your room, you've got your own unique snowflake. How cool is that? And real quick tip for you, make sure you tape the end of that yarn when you're done with it so it doesn't pull through and mess up your snowflake. If you're really talented, you can use different colors too. Too much for me. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana with my crafty little snowflake.